Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we will be reviewing all the adhesives that we used before to glue PLA together. So here are all the adhesives we have used before to glue PLA together. We'll start reviewing. We first looked at super glue. I believe this is the quickest and most convenient adhesive that we can find out there. We thought at first that it would be really good, but ultimately the super glue broke after the shrink test. It wasn't very strong after all. Next, we tried wood glue as an adhesive. It took longer to dry, but for our first experiment with it, it actually collapsed underneath the shrink test. After trying again and leaving it in for the appropriate time, it came out a lot better as we can see here. It's a lot more sturdy and we couldn't really break it at all. The only drawback is it does have that yellow glue color when it dries up. Next, we have ABS cement, and this was actually quite interesting. It actually holds up really well and is quick to dry as well. I'm trying to snap it right now and it's still holding up. The drawback is the same as wood glue though. It does have that yellow color after drying, but nothing a good paint job won't cover. Now we have methylene chloride. The adhesive is really good. It literally melts and welds the two pieces of PLA together and essentially they become one piece. It is also translucent so that also looks a lot better too. It is still very strong to this day. It won't buckle under any weight or even if I try to bend it or snap it. The only drawback is this chemical is highly toxic and we recommend using it in a well ventilated area as well as with the appropriate safety gear. Next, we tried an epoxy. You just mix the two solutions together and then let it set for around 20 minutes or longer. The results came out really nice, I would say. It's really strong and it holds up really well. See, it doesn't break or anything. Oh, wait, <laughs> I just broke it. I guess it wasn't that strong after all. I thought it was also a bonus that the epoxy was clear so it doesn't show, but I guess this wasn't as strong as I thought it was. Last, we have JB Quick. It is also another type of epoxy we tried. The good thing about this epoxy is it just takes a couple minutes to dry and it is really strong. So we got great results for the amount of time that we spent. I can't break it or snap it or anything at all. The only drawback was it dries black, which means you have to paint the whole part to actually mask that you used epoxy there. Unless obviously you're using black PLA. Well, there we have it. Out of all the adhesive we tried, I would say these four would be my top pick for gluing PLA parts together. They are all really strong adhesives. There are a few drawbacks to them, but so far the best ones we have tried so far. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering You. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printing courses, Steam challenges, and other types of resources that you can find to help you in your classroom. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.